हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू हनार आजाद्स इन टुडेज वीडियो आई विल बी शोइंग यू अ ब्यूटीफुल अलंकारम ऑफ मुर्गन एंड दिस इज फॉर द सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डू सो देयर आर गोइंग टू बी एट लीस्ट अनदर फोर वीडियोस apart from this in this particular series and it is actually going to narrate a story at the end so the story i will be narrating in each and every video but that is going to be individual stories but the whole story for which i am making the series of videos that will be revealed only at the end that is only in the last video of the series so i request you all not to miss watching even a single video in this series because it's going to be very 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 beautiful and the speciality about today's murugan alankaram is that he is going to wear a pagadi and just look at the shape of his pagadi you all know that the crown of murugan is actually in a conical shape right so it is long and how did i end up in tying a pagadi like this and how to tie the pagadi and what kind of material to use for that you will have to watch this video till the end and this is going to be a very special video because tying this pagadi is so super simple something which i tried for the first time and i could do it so well so imagine what you could do with little bit of practice for all of your south indian idols so in this video not only will i be showing you on how to do this alankaram but i will also be narrating a beautiful story so without wasting much time let me just show you the final outcome This video is self-explanatory, and because of that reason, I will not be explaining to you on how I do this alankaram, but rather I will be narrating a beautiful story. But just before I begin the story, let me just tell you that the kind of material that I am actually using for tying the pagdi it is called as stockings cloth. Okay, so this is something which is available even in Amazon and in many other North Indian shops. even if you go to any of the iskon temples uh, in your city itself you should be able to find these kind of stockings which is there in their shop okay and you will get it in various colors so i have purchased all colors of stockings because i'm going to need it for various videos so even you can do the same thing according to the dresses that you have you can buy the pagadis in various colors it will not cost much it is something like 20 rupees 25 rupees per stocking and you can buy multiple colors in it once and for all and you can start using it so you will have to pull it and stretch it so that it becomes longer and then you can start using it these things are also available on amazon you just go and search for pagdi clothes or pagdi stocking clothes and you should be able to find plenty of them 
and for all those god and goddess where you have purchased a round crown which is smaller and you don't know how to use them then this is one of the tricks that can be used wherein you tie the black stockings on the crown and make it look like hair and at the top of the crown you can just place that circular crown so in that way it's going to look very beautiful so i think having these stocking cloths is a must and especially the black color is a must so having said this let me now narrate a very beautiful story and you all please enjoy watching this beautiful alankaram by listening to the story lord kartikeya is the elder son of shiva and parvati and elder brother of lord ganesha he is popular by many names out of which murugan is the most famous in the southern part of india he is a symbol of union of polarities he is a handsome warrior and described as a celibate yogi he uses his creative martial abilities to lead on army against taraka and other demons and described as a philosopher warrior he is united championing the attributes of both shaivism and vaishnavism the birth of kartikeya is itself an interesting story because he was not born directly from parvati mata parvati had been cursed that she could not bear a child by rati who was the wife of kamadeva everyone is familiar with the story when sati ended her life in the fire when daksha insulted shiva in yagna shiva became furious and destroyed everything in the form of veerabhadra all other gods attended the yagna except shiva therefore they had to face the troubles for thousands of years because of demons like tarakasura and surapadma the main purpose of the birth of kartikeya was to destroy tarakasura Finally after praying for thousands of years Lord Shiva had mercy on the devatas from Lord Shiva's eyes came out six sparks since they were too hot to be burned by any other element in the creation the task was given to agni to carry them forward those sparks were so hot that even agni lost his senses and could not bear them and therefore left them in a lake called saravana therefore kartikeya is also called as saravana After some time these six sparks transformed into six divine children with divine qualities these children were taken care by the six kartika sisters which is a group of constellation hence the name kartika came when shiva and parvati arrived there they were highly attracted by the charm of the six children parvati merged them into a single child but with six heads later kartikeya grew into a great fighter having learnt all martial arts and possessing all of the divine weapons he finished the task of killing tarakasura very easily which was otherwise impossible by any other warrior as an appreciation of his valor indra gifted his daughter devasena to kartikeya for marriage and this divine marriage was witnessed by all the devatas and gods being born from the supreme couple kartikeya possessed all qualities of his parents In one of the description his appearance is described when he was fighting with demons to save the gods as below When the gods were in that fearful predicament the mighty Mahasena burning with anger and looking grand like the sun advanced to the rescue and that lordly being was clad in blazing red and decked with a wreath of red flowers and cased in armor of gold he rode a gold colored chariot bright as the sun and drawn by chestnut horses lord kartikeya is always merciful to his devotees and possesses all great virtues he is respectful towards the brahmins and he is always praised by the rishis and gandharvas so this completes the story of the birth of kartikeya i hope you all have loved the story so now after having done this much let me just show you on how to tie a pagdi for him pagdi or a peta in kannada we also call it as peta so for that to start with first and the foremost thing is that the head is not round right he is already wearing a crown so we want a little roundish head so that there is grip so for that i have taken uh, you know this kind of beads two of these beads and i'm just going to stick it towards each side you can take even circular beads also that's not a problem just take slightly bigger size okay so that it really makes a difference it should it should be proportionate to your idol for this idol because it is big i have to use a bigger <coughs> beads okay now 
we actually get something called as uh, stockings kind of a thing for uh, you know tying the pagadi something like this which we get in north india so i have got these things in all the colors okay it's like a net material and uh, you can actually stretch it okay so uh, but what happens with this is uh, that it is going to be slightly like you know it doesn't fit properly it 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 usually slides so for that reason what i'm going to do is i will be tying his head first in this kind of a cloth wherein he doesn't slide and then on top of it i will be using the pagadi cloth and then tying okay take it from behind like this okay it has to be slightly down and this way and take it up take it at the back side hold it in case if it is sliding over here what you can do is you can always glue it with the gum please remember that even the cloth can be glued with this kind of a gum that i sell and this will not slide like for example like this and you have to tie it very tightly taking all the hair at the back side in this way again if you think that it is going to slide over here put the glue and try to stick it don't put the glue on the hair remove the hair and then put the glue pull it tightly and that is it at the back side you can just secure it with a pin and we have a base cloth for the pagadi ready so now i'm going to do the same thing using this particular cloth so i'm just going to take it back and i'm going to pin it over here either you can stretch it like this or otherwise you can roll it like this also and you can do it rolling will work if and only if the cloth is uh, you know very long if the cloth is not long then this may not work so because of which i think i'm going to keep it this way every time you are taking it down from one side from here and you are going up here okay that is a trick only when you do this it's going to come tightly and nicely and now when this part is covered you can again put a pin at the back side to secure this particular thing and now take it from this side and try to cover this area as much as possible so again over here i am not having too much of cloth so i am going to compromise a little i may have to stop it here and there you go we have pagadi for a south indian idol and don't worry about all these imperfections because we are going to put something like this on his pagadi so all of which is going to get covered up so now for this i have put little bit of glue also at the back side so that it doesn't slide okay and i'm just fixing it and then securing it with the thread also so that it fixes very nicely on the pagadi and there you go pagadi for murugan is ready
So I hope you all have liked this video. If so, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get automatic notifications every time I release a new video. Thank you.